First, I want to thank everyone for being here. It's a busy time. It takes a lot of effort being at a conference in person. It's a very exciting time to be at Oracle, to be a customer or partner of Oracle Technology. Today, I'm so thrilled to be joined by Jenny Sysmith, our Senior VP of Product Management Oracle Database, and I'm Kambi Zagili, VP of Product Management at OCR Multicloud. Oracle Cloud has changed considerably over the past several years. Uh, OCR Multi-Cloud is how customers can have access to best-in-class Oracle technologies everywhere they need them. Over 80% of the organizations use multiple clouds anyways, right? This has been typically due to legacy line of business decisions, uh, M&A or tactical or niche you know, requirements, and these traditionally lack the deliberate cloud strategy across multiple clouds. This has in definitely increased customers' operational complexity and costs. Multi-cloud really allows access to these technologies in a very interoperable manner across the cloud, across the geos, across the data centers, across customers, suppliers, and partners. It reduces the risk associated with vendor concentration, disjoint commercial negotiations, vendor lock-ins, and the lack of app portability. So when you look at that in terms of numbers, as reported by major analyst firms, you see that that's one of the reasons that 30% of uh, customers are still not in the cloud and multi-cloud is helping bridge that gap. Looking at that a little bit more closely, multi-cloud is about making cross-cloud interoperability a reality either in terms of making it easier for customers to innovate by building new you know, applications across microservices, across different deployment models, across different data, you know, data types, using the same SQL and REST API and application compatibility that are really, really used to or interested in, while being able to cost optimize our deployments, while being able to benefit from a unified compliance and governance model. This is really the future of cloud environment where we make it really easy for customers to have very resilient and redundant and highly available with disaster recovery sort of deployment model across different cloud environment with uniform, unified commercial flexibility. When you look at that, what this really means for customers is really accelerates the cloud migration for one but also allowing customers to then next move into modernizing not only the deployments, but also the new applications that, that they're working on. And with, for instance, Oracle Converge Database, it makes these application development and the complexity that then is inherent in dealing with multiple different data types of data models in a very distributed manner, very easy for customers. So we are super excited to make that happen and available to customers in everywhere they want them, in every almost high top hyperscaler cloud they're interested in and make that simplified cloud and purchasing and management really easy to the customers where, for instance, in this case, they're able to easily and simply utilize the Mac credit, which is Microsoft Azure credits and commitments to even pay for their Oracle services. So that's super exciting. Now, when you look at kind of multi-cloud, it, it goes through a, a, along multiple different you know, latitudes, right? So we have worked very hard and have been in this four years pioneering in that the MySQL heatwave has been available on AWS and Azure to address enterprise workloads uh, for years. Oracle database at Azure and similar things we have announced with Google Cloud and AWS, but most important Oracle database at Azure in the context of what we're talking about here is exactly to augment that being able to address enterprise class workloads. For general purpose workloads, we have also have had OCI interconnect solutions that make it easier for customers to build distributed applications, web applications uh, with ease, right? So, and, and that is not new. Uh, our two organizations, two companies have been working for three decades. We have had years of partnership with one another. And now in this deployment, as we're talking about, we have over 500 customers to, to, to talk about. So uh, the solutions we work together in Microsoft Azure to launch together that we are further emphasizing amplifying fear for your visibility include Oracle Exadata Database Service, Oracle Autonomous Service, and Zero Data Loss Autonomous Recovery Service to help make customers have, you know, make their estates really reliable and stored and recoverable um, upon any incident and have that to be as a tightly integrated first-class service in the Azure 
uh, from a hardware and software and operational perspective. Other services that we have launched include OCI Golden Gate integration with Microsoft Fabric, as well as Oracle Database at Azure being integrated with Microsoft Sentinel. And, and we are really excited about all these announcements. Now with that, I would like to ask Jenny if she can kindly jump into a little bit more about the services we are offering. Thanks, Kambi. So, you know, I'm really proud of the fact that we've built this multi-cloud uh, that enables our customers to be successful and without having any compromise. So we've brought together the most trusted data management services from Oracle and the trusted application services that customers want to use on Azure. Um, and customers can much more quickly build applications, intelligent applications, uh, much more efficiently and at a lower cost. Um, I wanna talk a little bit more about what exactly we're delivering here. So we, what we're doing is taking our Oracle database running on Oracle Exadata platform and putting that in the Azure cloud. Um, and that is the Oracle database that Azure offering. Now that is connected to the OCI, the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure region, where the OCI control plane resides, and also where we can manage the database backup and as well as offer object storage through OCI. So this is at a high level, the architecture that uh, we're delivering. And of course the network integration is um, all done behind the scenes, uh, the identity management and so forth, that's all taken care of for our customers. So what we're delivering here is essentially a very simple and seamless experience um, as Kambi uh, elaborated on earlier. Now let's take another look at um, sort of a little bit more about the database services. So we have the Exadata database service available today and that is a essentially dedicated infrastructure for customers who want want to be able to run the most mission critical workloads. Um, and it's a co-managed service, meaning customers have more control over uh, the, the backup schedule, the patching and upgrade schedule. Um, and because it's running on Oracle database, which allows you to essentially manage any kind of workload, supporting any kind of data model, within the same uh, database engine. Um, this particular service can be used for um, OLTP analytical uh, workloads, as well as as a way for customers to consolidate multiple workloads. Now, on top of Exadata database service is the autonomous database. Autonomous database is fully managed service and there's a lot of automation built in. So the database provisioning, upgrade patching, backup is all being done for you. Um, and on top of that, we deliver a whole suite of um, data management tools and data application development tools, um, such as our low-code Oracle Apex platform, so that it makes it really easy for customers to be able to do things like um, discover data within their autonomous database services, uh, catalog their data, um, do very fast uh, extraction, transformation, loading types of processes, and even uh, create vector uh, database uh, applications using autonomous database. So, um, so with these two services, it's sort of the beginning of um, a beautiful friendship, if you will, between the Oracle data management services and uh, the Azure uh, platform. And um, as Tambi said, you can purchase the Oracle database at Azure services using cloud credits you may already own, either through Oracle Cloud or through uh, Azure. Um, and we've done all the integration for you behind the scenes. So the identity management is um, very simple. You don't have to log on to multiple cloud portals. You just log on to your Azure portal, go to the Azure marketplace and, and um, purchase it. And uh, we also allow you uh, to basically manage everything in one console. So our uh, management uh, logs and data is shipped to the um, Azure console and you can see it all in one place. So very, very exciting. And now I'm going to turn the floor over to Canby's to talk about some of the regions that we're um, already um, servicing and as far as plans for the regions and how to migrate to this new offering. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Jenny. So when I talk to customers, everyone have a, has a slight different opinion as what distributed multi-cloud means to them. 
There are a couple of points that is very common across them. One is that they all want a central intelligent cloud data management. They want these capabilities to pass the compliance or regulatory environments they're interested in. They want the performance to be identical across different deployment models, and they want to be able to cost optimize and have the commercial flexibility. But the number one reason is that they want multiple locations. They want everywhere from core metro areas to remote location or even on-premises. Starting with a public cloud, we've been launching regions at light speed. We have launched in 41 regions, eight are in, in, in the works. We have launched or having plans 50 multi-cloud regions that we are launching. If you look at that, that's multiple OCI data centers being launched in every single month. When you look at the customer use cases that draws them to multi-cloud and those that we are helping with the most, they, they, goes, they go through a variety of different use cases. The one that is most obvious is those that have package applications, custom applications, where database and application tier, they sit on premises, then take advantage of a variety of kind of migration tooling that we have, including zero downtime migration, to move every single one of those estates to say Microsoft Azure, while being able on the side to take advantage of the Azure services from Azure DevOps or Entra ID or be able to integrate in Microsoft Fabric. And that's super exciting. The next set of customers that I really see that we've had a lot of success with is those that are really interested to consolidate hundreds of their bare metal or infrastructure as a service databases that multi-cloud really makes it easy for them to improve performance, reduce costs, kind of optimize the license management through elastic consumption, utilize elastic pools and autonomous, and being able to kind of really take advantage of built-in HA, um, you know, online scale up and, you know, down of their compute and, you know, without having to have any of their business continuity being sabotaged. Now, when you think about the kind of tooling that we offer to customers are actually pretty extensive. It starts from zero downtime migration that actually orchestrate also Oracle Data Guard all the way to Oracle uh, Golden Gate. And all of these and solutions that we offer are, you know, uh, kind of embed a range of physical and logical or replication and migration technologies that make it really, really easy for customers to build in and migrate to the cloud. This also includes a variety of reference architecture and landing zone to make it really easy for customers to think through how do they make HA a reality for them. How do you make it in-region HA, cross-region DR a reality? How do you make it really easy for them? So we're really excited for those range of technologies that make it easy for customers to cloud to migrate to the cloud. So Jenny, it would be wonderful if we can talk to some of the customer success scenarios for us. Yeah, it can be. So um, we have a conduit, which is a, a business that delivers solutions to many government agencies and some of the Fortune 100 companies. Um, I had the pleasure of sitting down with a VP of Infrastructure Engineering for Conduent, uh, who shared with me one of the, the applications that they're running now on Oracle Database at Azure. Um, this particular application is a tolling application. So those of us who are driving to, to work every day, commuting to work, uh, you know that sometimes you have to pay toll. Uh, so this particular solution actually manages and handles 13 million toll transactions per day. Um, and this is all running on the Oracle database at Azure service. Um, and what they did was they took the Exadata, the Oracle database Exadata uh, database that they were already running and placed it into the Oracle database um, service in uh, at, at Azure. And they found that they actually uh, were able to achieve twice as fast application speed running in the uh, Azure uh, offering as they did on premises. So this is a, a really amazing um, story and uh, this particular customer has been very happy to essentially go on a road trip with, uh, with us um, to, to talk about their uh, success story. The other one is a, um, it's a very large uh, and important service provider for financial institutions globally. Um, they basically provide data that help these uh, global financial services institutions uh, make decisions around investments. And so this data is very, very important and they need to protect it. Um, they were using Oracle database on Exadata on premises, um, and they also migrated to the Oracle Exadata database service on Azure. 
Uh, and what they found is, again, um, very, very low network latency, which then helped them achieve even higher performance. Um, and they're using the zero um, data loss autonomous recovery service. Uh, and they're using that because they need to make sure that they can protect themselves from ransomware attacks and, and increase their cyber resiliency with this uh, service and the, the features that it provides in that regard. So two very exciting stories and uh, we are working with more customers to go uh, production and hopefully we'll get more of these stories um, out to you all soon. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and close the show here. Uh, so if you want more information, please visit oracle.com slash Azure. Uh, come and see some demos and sign up for uh, this new offering. Uh, Kambiz, any last words from you? It's it's great to be here. Just just to reemphasize, kind of OCI multi-cloud or Oracle Davis at Azure in this case is the same OCI hardware software stack with the same compliance with the same SLA regardless of the deployment model. So you get the same same thing everywhere you get it. They're having you know the ability to utilize the SQL REST API and operate across a variety of data types from a relational data to text to graph to machine learning to JSON XML documents. The ability to take advantage of Rack, the ability to take advantage of online security patching, intelligence storage, RDMA, and extreme performance and availability like Zedata is so unique. We are so happy and thrilled to be able to offer that natively as a first class service within Microsoft Azure. And um, that's just the beginning. So thanks for being here. I appreciate the time. Thanks. Bye.